So here's a cool ass fucking tunnel on 64 going out of Louisville. Headed to uh, Harrodstown, first settlement, first white settlement, 1774. Kentucky, white Kentucky's been here for 240 something years. And these drivers are pissing me off. Motherfuckers just fucking get right up on your ass and then they wonder why you, you know, they try to fucking bully you and wonder why you didn't fucking crumble or go faster. Just because you get on my fucking ass, I'll break your ass, you know. I'll fucking slow down and that's what pisses you off. Motherfuckers. Fucking bully tactics. I hate that shit. So I'm getting off the uh, exit right now. This is to go to Harrodsburg. 64 goes to Frankfurt and uh, Lexington. Lexington was named after the city in Massachusetts, supposedly started the revolution. And Frankfurt was named after a man named Frank, a Jewish pioneer named Frank who had got killed by an Indian. So Frankfurt, uh, the name of Frankfurt, is there because of an Indian uh, slaying. So Harrodsburg is the first settlement in Kentucky. First settlement of the West, that's what they claim, right? So that's their big water tower right there. Just driving through it. It's pretty big. Skip a kit the key, last Shawnee town. I couldn't find hardly any remnants of civilization here. Harrodsburg is just fucking exploded. So good job, the uh, frontiersmen. Your experiment worked. So at the old Fort Harrod Mansion Museum. This Harrodsburg here. People could be driving fucking insane. Right. So for old Fort Harrodsburg, this is a uh, during uh, Chief Pluggy's Christmas raid. This is one of the spots he hit up. This is the first settlement in Kentucky. They're fucking pricks, man. They're fucking psychopaths, man. They fucking drive like. Like they're the uh, beneficiaries of a genocide that happened on this ground right here. So this is the first place of manifest destiny, the first place of the West, right? There's like a fucking church here. I think it's like a replica place. Um, so this is one of the places that it hit up. I'm actually pretty surprised about how the... Uh, how far all these places are. It's Christmas Day raid, but he made some he he made some tracks. Uh, it took a while just to drive here, so I can only imagine what it would take on horseback or just I think they was just running around on foot. So I'm gonna check and see what this place has. So I'm here at Harrods Ford. Um, they cannot get in the Ford. It's closed, I guess, for Thanksgiving holidays and it looks like it'd be a ton of fun there's like a water supply spot right here there's like a little bunch of marker and a bunch of things on the inside so it looks like the, there's a spring a natural spring there and they got all these other buildings um it's a uh, it's a palisade so uh that's you know historic it's a fort it's got wooden barriers and then they got all the houses you know lined up on the inside there and actually it's pretty cool this house up here has got some holes on the side that you could see where they was looking out to shoot some um, you know to shoot any intruders it's a bunch of like wood figures and sticks and stuff so I guess it's like little replicas of uh, burning like little fires and shit it's outside the fort but it looks like this might have been an earlier fort and then they you know made this brand new stuff you have like some sort of little powwow meeting area here, right? People living under some sort of tarped, um, tarped housing. So sort of like Occupy or like the people at Walmart. Uh, there's a, a thatching for some hut, so you just put you know leaves and stuff on it, and then you have a big ass little house. 
bunch of squirrels are around today. So you have some sort of amphitheater here. It's a museum, so. And it's kind of weird because it's like a replica of a historical thing. Um, so they, you know, used new technology in order to create uh, old stuff to make it look like it was old technology. So you have like a little uh, lookout point right there. It's an amphitheater, so I guess you could do like plays and stuff right here. Everybody can line up. They got a ton of chairs. Um, this is a real nice conference center up here. So, it's a nice park. Uh, you can house and do a lot of things here. It's totally desolate on Thanksgiving uh, day. I want to show this, uh, these holes on the side of this house because, I mean, it seems obvious, but it's just kind of neat to, to recognize the, uh, you know, they, they put a lot of thought into it. Whoever rebuilt Herod's Fort put a lot of thought into this. So here's the cabin, one of the cabins, and they're all pretty spacious, pretty big. And you know, we're supposed to believe it was the same technology you used before, so I guess they, they took all these long ass trees and, and just stacked them all and hoped that they were perfectly straight. Put mud or some shit in between them, and then some of the spots you could have, you could see through. So you could shoot out of it if there were, were intruders. And uh, um, and I'm gonna say some more coming up. Back side of the fort, so you can see how the houses themselves actually serve as a barricade. So they align all the houses up together. I don't know if that's a good idea or a bad idea because it makes this side really weak, but there's more stuff blocking and protecting. Um, but it seems like they should be on the inside of the fort, not on, hanging out on the outside. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, these houses are habitable. Right now, theoretically, if a Native American was to come back and say this, this used to be our land and just start living in one of these houses, if there was any homeless Native Americans around, I think they would have the historical justification in order to do so. But if they was to do that, then the police and everybody else would be right on them, right? So here's what it looks like on the inside. There's actually wire in that. There's a fenced in area and they got like some sort of chicken wire. I don't know if they had chicken wire back then. It's also really nice cut grass and there's an American flag up there and there definitely wasn't an American flag in 74. 74, Daniel Boone was proudly British and he was killing Shawnee or he was in the, in the battles. He said he only killed one Indian, um, which I find extremely unlikely you have uh, some big ass Mount Rushmore looking thing up here and then I'm gonna go I mean this seems like a fun area to kind of hang out with some friends and chill on a Thanksgiving day this was a spot that Chief Pluggy led one of his attacks so he attacked Harrods town he attacked uh, Oh, this is actually really cool. Look, there's like a map down here. Kaskaskia, which was basically wiped out um, by George Rogers Clark. Fort Massick, Harrodsburg, Corn Island. It turns into Louisville, Boonesboro, Wilderness Trail, Pittsburgh, Northwest Territory, Pequa, Detroit. The first permanent settlement of the West. So, this is the first West. This is where Manifest Destiny became or grew up. Uh, this is, I mean, this is a fun area. This would be fun just to chill right here. You got a picture of a, a Native American right here with uh, the white man's gun, which is uh, guns, germs, and steel, which is the reason why these folks survived and thrived. And also for, because uh, they did not have a, uh, any inclination when it came to murdering the native so-called savages because they were not Christian they were barbaric so they were allowed to massacre as many Native Americans as they wanted to Fort Herod before I get out of here
It's Fort Harry. There's a big pot, kettle cooking pot, right, being cooked underneath a fire, which we're to assume there'll be a fire later on. And this is the park, man. This is wide open. It says warning. There's a this park's under camera security. You're being monitored with camera for your protection, of course. There. They're being Big Brother for your protection. Federal monument dedicated to the pioneers of Kentucky. So that's what this place is. Federal monument. This is a replica of the first place. Where is the first place? Did it, this shit not survive? Is it not here anymore? It's first permanent settlement. Oh, okay. Lincoln Marriage Temple. So that church is where Lincoln and them got married. Oldest pioneer cemetery. You get tickets up there at the fort. There's an amphitheater, bus loop, shelter building, playground, and picnic area. Bus entrance, West Lexington Street, lots of parking. So, that's this place here. Check it out. It's Lincoln's parents got married there. Um, Harrods, Harrods Fort. It's where the voyage out west began. It's the first first white settlement in the West, Harrods Fort. Top of this silo here, it's a big ass phallic symbol, but they have all these fucking. Uh, if you just have anything tall, somebody want to put something taller on top of it. So you have a silo here, and it's got all these uh, satellite and uh, other antenna that's on top of it. Um, so this is just a stretch of US 127 coming out of Harrisburg, going north, headed to Georgetown. Okay, so I'm in uh, Georgetown, named after George Washington. As um, McClellan came here, this is where uh, Plucky Minoti, Plucky Minoti died here at Royal Spring, not middle school, but at Royal Springs is where McClellan uh, had his fort, and that's where Plucky Minoti had died. It's also where McClellan died. And, uh, so I'm looking for the Royal Springs right now. I think there's a park somewhere. So I'm in Georgetown, trying to find the, um, Royal Springs. It's supposed to be the largest public uh, spring system, like, ever. All right, and uh, so there's like College Street and Broadway and some other streets I'm looking for. And once I find it, then there's Water Creek and some other stuff. So this is 
Georgetown, Kentucky.